my name is Emily and I'm a senior aquarist here at the Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park and today we're here in Fort Gator and we're about to feed our largest American alligator Brutus. So let's go! So this is Brutus, our male adult American alligator. He's about 33 years old, 11 feet long, and almost 500 pounds. Good. Adult male American alligators can grow up to 15 feet in length and almost 1,000 pounds, which is almost double Brutus's current weight. So as you can see, Brutus has many teeth in his mouth, and alligators can have anywhere between 60 and 70 teeth. And a fun fact is they continuously lose and regrow these teeth throughout their lifetime. I've been working with Brutus for about four years now, and today we're going to be doing something called target training. So for the past couple of years, Brutus and I have been working towards getting him to touch his snout to this red target. And when he touches his snout to the red target, we reward him with a pelleted diet. This pelleted diet we feed to all the alligators and crocodilian species that we have here at the Golfarium, and it is made up of all the nutrients and vitamins they need in their diet. We've also been working on an open mouth behavior with Brutus, so instead of also target training him, we've also been getting him to present and open his mouth for us. The purpose of our, all of our training with Brutus and all of the alligators that we have here at the park is to make it easier for them to participate in their own husbandry care. So anytime we need to do any medical checkups or anything related on them, they're super used to us being near them, touching them, and close to them. When most people think of alligators, they think of cold-blooded eating machines, but through working with crocodilians at facilities such as ours, we're able to learn just how intelligent these animals are. Relative to their body size, alligators and crocodiles have a very small brain, but it has definitely been shown that they have a large intelligence capability. And we see this here at the Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park because we've done training with name recognition, target training like you can see with Brutus, and voluntary veterinary care.